This is Mike Mitchell. He had a shitty job, but out of nowhere, FX just gave him a way better one, hosting his own talk show. But there's a catch. They're not telling him anything that's gonna happen. That's right, he won't know the jokes, celebrity guests, or even where he's supposed to stand. He knows literally nothing about what's going on, so he'll have to make it up as he goes. He'll have help from a fleet of producers called Team Mitch. And me, Michael Cassidy, Mitch's announcer and best friend. So please put your hands together for the luckiest man in television, Mike Mitchell! This is the most terrifying thing in my entire life. <laughs> uh, thank you all for coming. Um, I have no idea what's gonna happen. Um, Mitch, check this place out, huh? Where yeah. the hell are you? <laughs> We're not okay. on the stage. Oh, there you are, all right in the audience, all right. Where am I? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm out, I'm out where are the people were. Yeah, 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 the yeah. People. This is great, this is so exciting. Yeah, everything looks great. It's like my first day of work. Thank you very much. All right, the tough part's out of the way. <laughs> Did not throw up on myself. That was a huge issue backstage. Uh, hi, I'm, uh, I'm Mike Mitchell, and welcome to What's Going On with Mike Mitchell. Uh, before we begin, there's one thing I need to do. Uh, sign my actual real contract for the show. <laughs> um, thank you. All right, I won't read this at all and just go through it. Hey, and Mitch, turn and uh, square up to that camera right there, huh? Oh. That's America, pal. How you doing, America? I stole my name. I stole my name. <laughs> I know you did it. <laughs> That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, all right. I guess we'll do more show. <laughs> Uh, all right, transition into the monologue smoothly. Thank you for that. Um, a, a spokesman for the Tea Party Express said uh, they are not happy with a budget deal that prevented a federal government shutdown. First among the concerns, not enough money budgeted for tri-corner hats. <laughs> I didn't get it, but other people did. <laughs> the Vanessa Hudgens said in a recent interview that she hopes that she and her mom can get matching tattoos. You can read the rest of the interview in this month's Who Gives a Shit magazine. <laughs> that one I like. Mitch, let's head up to that brand new desk, huh? All right, yeah, sure thing. All right, cool. All right. Awesome. Comfy? Pretty nice, yeah. Thank you all for being here tonight. Uh, now I won't say anything else, and I'll just read this card. <laughs> um, now that I have my uh, own show, uh, I'm well on my way to being a big Hollywood insider. Uh, <clears throat> in fact, uh, this past week, I got to visit a real set. It was disgusting. Check it out. Hey, I'm Mike Mitchell, and I'm on the set of of pornography. <laughs> a porn, uh, a porn shoot. <laughs> Hello. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to uh, the Fresh Out of High School set. Oh, um, thank you for having me. This is such a pleasure. <laughs> wow, well, this is, uh, this is the most awkward I've ever felt in my entire life. <laughs> um, is it her or him that's throwing it off? Oh, just, just everything, pretty much. <laughs> Nice, nice to meet you, Hi, Ashley. Great to meet you. We'll do this. this oh, is, my goodness. This is, this is, this is. <laughs> Poke my eye out for that thing. <laughs> you want me to help with the lines or something? That'd be so awesome. I want to do something we've never done before. I'll do anything you want. I want to f you in the Yeah, you heard me. That sweet of yours is about to get by this big of mine. So, uh, would you mind coming in and running some lines with me or something? I want to suck your fat 
and, uh, and for you to in my But I'm married. How could you say no to these? A little short staff today. Uh, yeah. Boom guy didn't show up. All right. um, you done sound before or anything like that? Well, yeah, yeah, I felt, I felt the pull, yeah, for sure. Well, I hear everything. You'll hear everything. <laughs> like louder than usual. <laughs> Is she? she is a schoolgirl. Okay. I don't know if you have a schoolgirl fetish. Um, I mean, no, I mean, they, you look very pretty. Yeah, yeah no, schoolgirls are great. Schoolgirls yeah. are great. Um, I, mean, I mean, whatever. Well, I, she, yeah. You guys are doing great. Good job. I'll put the credits. I don't know if you want to use your real name or if you want to have a stage name. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. I, I, what, what, do you, what do you guys think? What's your, what's your middle name? My middle name is Donovan. It could be like Donald Donovan. How about Zip? Zip, Zip Donovan? No, no, no. no, no, no. I turned everyone in the room yeah. off with no, Zip dude. Donovan. Thank you yeah, so yeah. much for coming out today. Thank you for having me. Did you have fun? It, yeah, I, I learned a lot of stuff. It was great. That's yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I hope to see you again. Yeah, I would love to. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank yeah, you, you so much. Out. That was the most terrifying experience of my entire life. Uh, I'm going to go to church, I think, <laughs> and call it a day. <laughs> I, I thought I would look more like Grossa. I look like I'm into it that entire video. I was not into it at all. Yeah, right. It's, no, I swear, it, that was. I think Zip is a great name. Zip Donovan? Like yeah. They stopped. They stopped having sex. <laughs> <laughs> when I said that name, everyone left the room. It was my cat's name. I thought that that's how it works. <laughs> my pet. My cat that's was fair. Zip. You had every right to think that your cat's name would be the best your, name. Your pet's name and, and then yeah. your, your middle name. That's what I thought it was. All right. We got to throw it a commercial because we got to make those mo that money. Oh, God. Uh, stick around. Go through the commercials with your DVR. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. Thank you for sticking around. Mitch, to move things along, are you ready for your first celebrity guest of the evening? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you'll know him from such movies as Old School, Anchorman, Step Brothers. Ladies and gentlemen, Will Ferrell! <laughs> Mike, Mike Mitchell, everybody, right? He's just, he's just ripping the lid off of it. <laughs> uh, thank, thank you so much for coming. This is such an honor to, uh, to have you here. Uh, uh, my, no, my pleasure. Um, it, it is an honor to be your first guest, but you made it. Well, it wasn't your decision. No, not at all. <laughs> I would have given the huge thumbs up but to you, though. The, sh the show made a terrible mistake. How's that? Because there's, you know, uh, every, every talk show I've been the first guest on has been cursed. Oh, that's... Yeah. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. John McEnroe. <laughs> the Megan Mullally talk show. Yeah, I remember that one. And then, of course, I took Conan down <laughs> on The Tonight, on the tonight se Show. You yeah. seem semi-proud of all well, that, one, that one... <laughs> I finally toppled Conan. That was good. Yeah. No, so I'm sorry. So this this will be your last show. That's, you know, I almost feel like that's a good thing. I should get out of here. Really? Yeah. Just quit while you're ahead. Aww. No. See, people These love people you. People would be heartbroken. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. There's must. You don't have a lot of self confidence, do you? <laughs> Now you, you peruse the contract. 
Uh, I did not. I did not look at it. At, honestly, did not look at it at all. I don't even know if I signed the right lines, to be honest with you. Yeah, it doesn't matter. No. 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 Uh, you think I'll be all right anyway? Yeah, you'll be fine. Did, how, do you know of, at all any specifics or no? Uh, of the terms of your contract? Yeah. <laughs> pretty, pretty intimately. Yes, I do. Is is everything look good or? I. Uh, you got a terrible deal. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. Yeah, take it right? <laughs> I guess there's no other option now but, but to what, take it. But what are you doing right now? I work at The Simpsons. Uh, okay. uh, I'm an assistant over there. I, uh, I send Homer's voice up um, to uh, the animation company via audio track. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's pretty boring. <laughs> <laughs> so you're looking to get out of that, huh? <laughs> Now, now, I got, I got a ton of stuff to, uh... God, it's just good to be back in Glendale, you know? <laughs> a strong reaction for yeah. Glendale. As soon as you get on the 134, you're like, <laughs> I'm back. God, you ever, country. Did you ever shoot anything in Glendale Studios? I, uh... No. No? I don't think I've actually been here. Uh, <laughs> but we did, we, we shot parts of Anchorman in Glendale, so. Oh, really? All right, cool. Yeah. Anchorman is one of the right. best comedies of the last, like, 20 years. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Did you, uh, you know that was such, like, a big hit when you were doing it, or what? Did, did, uh, did it feel, did it feel good? Uh. <laughs> Did, did it feel good to film it? Yeah, did it feel good yeah, to film yeah. it? We had, a, uh, we had a very good time making that movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had no idea that it would kind of become the thing that it's become. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they've always talked about a second one, right? Yeah, they have. What's happening? <laughs> the old lamos at Paramount Pictures don't want to make a sequel, so... Yeah. That is... Yeah. If they were here right now... If they came down to Glendale, they'd get their asses kicked. <laughs> The two of us. Yeah. I think we make a pretty good combination. Two of us. Oh yeah, the whole crew. Yeah, yeah, everybody here. Hundred of us. All right. Um, you know, this morning. Uh, that was a good it's transition. Very, it's very good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this morning, uh, after I left my apartment, uh, my roommate Matt Kowalik uh, <laughs> let the producers of the show into my room, so that they could steal my bed. What the. F <laughs> For real? <laughs> I guess so. It's all, it's all part of our new segment, <laughs> Save Your Bed. <laughs> uh, the way it works is uh, Will Ferrell and I go outside and uh, perform a physical challenge. And if we fail, <laughs> my bed will be crushed by a steamroller? <laughs> Here they are! Come on over here, fellas! Right over here! Right this way! All right, Mitch! Mitch, this is your bedroom, yes? <laughs> yes. This is your bed and nightstand from your house. And this is a steamroller that's going to destroy it. You have a chance to win this back if either you or Will can find a matching set of pajamas in this pile. Can I throw myself in front of it? I'm afraid I'm afraid this is the only way out of it. Have these been laundered? They are. Do we know? They're, 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 they're the freshest okay. that we could find. Oh, God.
computer and there was nothing. Wait! Wait! I found! <laughs> no, no, no. No. It's still good. You're still gonna use it? Uh, we're uh, we're gonna take a uh, quick commercial break. When we come back, it's time for my next celebrity guest. Uh, stay tuned. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mike Mitchell, and today I'm going to talk to a talk show expert. We're at the Brooklyn Water Bagel Company. I'm Larry King, and what a great pleasure to have Mike Mitchell here by total surprise. I'm here to help him be a talk show host. Oh, wow. You, are you impressed? I, I'm very impressed. Are you shocked? Uh, um, yeah, it's a pleasure to meet you. Anyway, uh, have, a, yeah, have a bagel. That's an everything bagel. Go take a bite. First rule, never eat while you're on the air. Because it's hard to talk, right? I try to talk. I honestly don't want to. I don't <laughs> yes, it's hard. Everything's so there, I see you've learned the first rule. <laughs> what, 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 what would you do in a situation like okay, this? Okay, first, try not to go, whoa, 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 whoa. All right. All right, I'll be Angelina Jolie. No, yeah. Go ahead, what? You got Angelina Jolie, a setup. She don't do many interviews. So Mike. You and Brad Pitt have a lovely relationship. No, see, you're assuming that. Angelina, you and Brad Pitt are dating each other. Mm. You adopt a lot of children. Are you gonna give birth to more children? Oh, see, that seems like a weird question to ask her. No, it's a good question. Yeah, all right, yeah. And then you hit it with the blockbuster. Yeah. You gotta be delicate about it. You broke up a marriage. Yeah, you broke up a marriage. What, what's, That's what all you gotta say. <laughs> I didn't mean it for it to happen, but. But you know what, it did happen. And you know, good. Jennifer now has to deal with that on her own. And yeah. you know, she has no, no shoulder to cry on. She has no Brad Pitt to cry on. Her. Yeah. Mike. You sh yeah. Should be crying. A great close. How's that? Take another bite of the bagel. Keep chewing like that. Mm -hmm. You look into the camera, mm -hmm. and you say, tomorrow night, Barack Obama. Tomorrow night, Barack Obama. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Seems rude. <laughs> Introducing the president with love. You're on your way. Everything bagel <laughs> in my mouth. How come you, you never did this on your, uh, on your talk? Because I decided to succeed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, welcome back. Everybody. You know, I know it'll cheer you up, man. Um, what about How another about a celebrity new... guest? Or what were you is gonna a new suggest? celebrity guest someone who will give me a new bed by any chance? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you'll remember her from her Oscar-nominated performance in Winter's Bone. You'll see her next in the upcoming films The Beaver and X-Men First Class. Ladies and gentlemen, please oh, wow. welcome Jennifer Lawrence. <laughs> Yeah, there's a new sheriff in town. <laughs> right. Oh man, thank, thank you, uh, thank you so much for coming. Yeah, of course. You're gonna, you're gonna be in the next X Men, correct? Yes. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm, a, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of the X Men. Who, who are you? Uh, who, who, are, who are you? Uh, which, which role are you gonna play? I'm gonna play Mystique. Oh, you're playing Mystique. Yeah. Oh, no way. All right, cool. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, Mystique can morph into different characters for those of people who don't know that. Mm -hmm. um, like uh, different shapes and things? Uh, not different shapes, I don't, actually. That was something I was worried, I was concerned about. I didn't right. know if I could turn into a chair. Or no, you if can't I could turn into a chair, no, actually. No, apparently I can't. I learned that after filming. Different, like, human forms you can turn into. I can turn into. Not inhabit objects. No, not, 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 not a. Uh, like a new mattress. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and that is why he is Will Ferrell. <laughs> She's not looking over this way. I was trying to look. I was trying to look. I was trying to look cool for you, and it didn't work out, anyways. Sorry. Um, um, uh, oh man. It's it like was... you brought the funny guy to the bar, and now you're. Oh, yeah. sorry. I love having the funny guy at the bar, though. It's great. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll shut up. Um, <laughs> but I, got, I was luckier than Rebecca Romain because I'm, I'm me for most of the movie. Yeah. And yeah, why would you ever so... want to change into something else? <laughs> Aww. Nice. That was so sweet. <laughs> that was great. Rose, now he's in the lead. I know. Yeah. <laughs> 
know what? It's time for us to go to a commercial real quick, but more with Jennifer Lawrence and Will Ferrell when we come back. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Thanks for doing the show, Jennifer. That was uh, that was awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She uh, she also she offered me she offered me uh, uh, her the, she has a mattress coming her way and she offered it. She's such a nice person. She offered me her mattress. <laughs> That's the coolest. Uh, I can't take it, but uh, no, the... really, it's fine. I, right, I, I really it. feel sorry for you. It's like a, a genuine pity. What if you reread your contract and you're paid in mattresses? <laughs> the Sour Patch Kids I bought the other day were <laughs> mushed into my bed. Are but... they the really good Sour Patch? They're the best Sour Patch. They're not like the humans. They're the uh, they're like they're like the actual uh, they're the actual hey, water. And What's on that were... card right there? Oh. They're all, they're all the watermelon slices of, the, of them, I'm sorry. But, and they were already open, which meant they were like a little bit stale, which is great. Twizzlers are good that way, too. I, I, she, I finished, she finished what I was going to say, so yeah. I, I don't even have to... Everybody wins. It's perfect. Uh, <laughs> ah, man. So amazing. <laughs> you are the best person I've ever met in my entire <laughs> life. Um, well, that's, uh, that's about all the time we have uh, for the show, but... Um, but to wrap up this very first show, we have, uh, we have an awesome musical guest. Oh, man. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for... Ah, oh, damn it. God damn it. For me. It's the end of the show and the end of my career. Thanks for coming out to Glendale tonight. My dad got crushed in the parking lot. I'll be sleeping at the producer's house until they find me a new one. I'm very upset, even though it's such a great night. But it takes a long time to get a groove in the bed just right. Your bed, it's a bed. The most important thing, it's where you lay your head at night. And you go home and you have a bite of watermelon sour patch kids. That's what you do. You lay there in bed and you eat them up off of your bare chest. That's the end of the show. I hope the song didn't gross you out too much. It's a small glimpse into my life. No matter how sad it is. Thank you all for coming to the show tonight. I hope you never have to come back to Glendale again. Good night and goodbye. Good night and goodbye. It's time for me to go home and cry. Thank you all for coming. Uh, thanks to Will Ferrell, Jennifer Lawrence, uh, the, no, the guy driving the steamroller, no. I hate that man. I hate that man more than anyone else on earth. Uh, and everyone at FX and Funny or Die. Uh, and now to close out the show, I'm going to beg FX to pick up this show. As if I wasn't uh, uh, pathetic enough. Uh, please FX, please God, pick up this show. Uh, my parents don't know what to do with me anymore. I'm turning 29 in October. It's, it's a mess. Uh, I'm physically unfit. Uh, I, you heard the song, I eat Sour Patch Kids in my bed. I have nowhere to sleep anymore either. 
uh, uh, this is, uh, it's just a, it's a very unfortunate situation for this man. And uh, I just need something, anything. Just throw a rope. Put me on in the morning. Put me on, put me on as an infomercial. I'll take anything. I'll take anything that you guys have. Uh, just please. Please make it happen. We will see you next time. Roll the credits. A rapport between you and I. We sure hit it off like two diamonds in the sky. You and I kind of failed. Can I sleep over your house tonight? Probably not. In fact, the answer's no. Go sleep with your parents, they're at the tally-ho. <laughs> <laughs>